Hi everybody and welcome to the 2016 Molten Waratah League. That's right, the rap is back and it's bigger than ever. We're going from Youth League all the way up to Men's and Women's Championship League. Who's going to be the next Katie Ray Ebsery? Who's going to be the next Talia Tupea? Or Jared Weeks, Kevin White, all those players rocking it on the national stage. Well, the Championship League opener is a grand final rematch between the Sydney Comets and the Manly Seagulls. I got a chance to catch up with the defending champion coach, Luke Kendall, and this is what he said about defending his crown. Luke, you've won championships as a player, now as a coach, defending the championship. How difficult is it with a new role? Uh, yeah, it's been it's been a bit of a change of scenery. Obviously, um, I think when I was playing, I had a little bit more control. Um, I felt well, I felt like I had a little bit more control while I was playing. Uh, but I guess just the preparation is um, just passing on that information to the players and letting them go out and execute um, has definitely been a bit of a challenge. But we've got a good group, and you know they all kind of want to follow the the game plan, and and it's been successful for us so far. So um, just. Uh, fixing the minor details, uh, especially in the first week of the season against Manly, that'll be that'll be tough. But um, I think we're ready. Can you take us through the steps of you know what it takes to defend your crown, and as far as recruiting and things like that? Um, the Comets. Well, this year we didn't really recruit at all. Um, they wanted to use some of the junior players uh, coming through the the program. Um, fortunately for us, uh, we. With Penrith going down, Louis Branch decided to come and play for us. Uh, he was the one that called us, which was really good for us. Uh, it's a pretty good pickup, and uh, you know we've got some young guys that are coming through the ranks, like Adrian, who played in the youth league uh, tournament a couple of weeks ago and did really well, and Daniel Moser, who's been with the program for a year, so he'll get a little bit more court time. And uh, another junior <coughs> come back from college, D1 college, uh, Luke Devlin. He's going to be really good for us this year, so we're pretty excited. With your style of coaching, you know, do you? model that on how you play or maybe some other other than great coaches that you played for like Brian Gorgian? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I, went, I was with some very intense defensive coaches um, with Mike Dunlap and Brian Gorgian, so I brought that a lot to the trainings and just kind of train, change the culture a little bit just to you know be more competitive at practices and everyone get there and um, so it's, it's taken a year and, and this preseason has been really good. We started a little bit earlier and we got on the track and we did some other things. Um, but defending the championship definitely is a lot, is a lot harder <laughs> once you've won it because everyone's coming to get you, you know, like everyone wants your scalp. So um, I think the boys are ready and they're pretty fit and ready to, re ready to go. Well, you mentioned Manly right out the gate. You know, are you comfortable with that, seeing them so early? I don't think anyone's really comfortable <laughs> with the top teams going right at the first game, but um, you know our preparation's been pretty good um, and as good as it could be. We went down to Canberra and played a Seabull team in the preseason. Um, we also played the IS and we played against Norse uh, a couple of weeks ago. So um, we've had a couple of preseason games under our belt, and uh, you know the practices have been really good. And hopefully this weekend we'll have a full squad and we'll see how we go. Well, that'll be a great game for sure, but make sure you get there early because defending champion men's youth league are the Sydney Comets as well. They take on the Manly Seagulls who came up short in the semi. Also, another good game to watch are grand finalists Bankstown who take on the newly promoted Mossvale side who just ripped through Division Two and now in Division One. Also, the women start in a couple of weeks' time. We'll make sure we keep you posted on that. Go to our new website at Basketball New South Wales, of course. Make sure you go to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, even if you're one of those old cats like myself and have one of those old cameras that you want to put on VH VHS, we'll take that as well. We'll see you next time.